My mother is that girl with caramel colored skin, afro on her head, with dreams strapped to her back, and life gave her lessons. Many she never asked for, those lessons she regarded as blessings, disguised or not. Those lessons were passed down, every spoonful of food, every corner of red into my hair, wrapped into my jeans like the prayer of Hannah, earnest, heartfelt, a gift to make my life easier. She was my first teacher. She told me I come from a long line of strong women. Women who bettered goodness with both feet planted on the earth. I heard that the first things my lungs filled up with were screams of love. She taught me that journeys are meant for people, groups of people. And in every traveling party is a lot's wife, seeking the pleasure left behind. Do not spend too much time with your eyes facing your back that you forget the land flowing with milk and honey in your grasp. I learned how rewarding it is to have your desire fulfilled, to look at a plate of food that only existed in your mind, to love in color what my hands can do. So when people call me foodie, it's a bad I wear with pride. I got it from my mom. She showed me how the men you call uncle, friend, neighbor, can see your body as a fruit ripe for plucking, how a woman's voice can grow hollow in her chest trying to preserve what is hers. I will hear that story when I am 10, but to be six years too late. She taught me that you cannot find completeness in a man. He cannot be the glue that holds your pieces together. He cannot feel the love size hole in your heart. You are savior and lover. You are friend and forgiveness, wholeness. He is only human, you see. He is searching just as you are, he wants it. She taught me that my body is mine, and within me is God's creative gift to whip a miracle out of nothingness, and, nurse, and nurse it, nurture it, nourish it with my heart till it flourishes. So my daughter will walk this path knowing she stepped on this earth with greatness in her voice. Thank you.